What's up everybody? So me and my buddy Nick here, he met up with me actually, he kind of chased me down. <laughs> and uh, we decided to go for a little ride. It's not a very long ride, it's just like a, a semi-large loop in the local area. Uh, but this is my first time riding with Nick, so it's actually pretty cool. And I at least wanted to give an introduction for him. And uh, get you a little, little view of this ride. But um, this is actually um, a local loop that I haven't done yet. So it's actually really cool for me because it's a new road that... I can now take if I want to take a little short ride or something. Um, so it's pretty cool. Definitely gonna try and get him in on uh, some more rides and stuff like that. So you might be able to see him a little more often. I've actually been trying to get a hold of Michael as well. Um, he actually made a Facebook specifically uh, so we could, you know, talk back and forth and stuff but uh i don't think he's checked his facebook since he's made it <laughs> so michael if you're watching this hit me up man come on buddy but it's actually pretty 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 out here it's nice uh it's country land a lot of trees and stuff so Traffic's not been too bad either. Of course, it is the middle of the day, though, on a Friday. It's like 2 o'clock or something like that. Ooh, really? Already? Hey. Ooh, there's... Oh, there's a good clear, and there's going to be, like, you see all this hill and stuff. You can kind of see it through there. I know y'all can't really see very far um, with this camera due to the fact that it's a GoPro and it's an action camera and it's really only for what's relatively in front of you. Um, actually doesn't even really justify how close I actually am. Like, let's see here. I'm gonna get right behind his, right behind his bike. And still, it's gonna look kinda like we're not that close. But that, that's, you know, action camera for you. It's only meant for like that first person view and stuff or in the immediate view, so. But I like it. I love my little GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver. Speaking of GoPros, um, a few of the motobloggers that I've been watching have actually um, done some reviews on the GoPro 5. And um, basically, the general synopsis is synopsis. I'm not even sure I'm using that word right, guys. <laughs> but um, head out, buddy. yeah, I'm gonna go this way. That was Nick, and he is going goodbye. Anyway, so, as I was saying, um, the general take on uh, the GoPro Hero 5 is, like, I think Chase on Two Wheels actually took his back and returned it. So that kind of gives you a general idea. If you don't know, uh, Chase on Two Wheels, he is a moto blogger. He's a pretty good moto blogger. He makes very good videos. He has pretty awesome editing skills for all the people that I've seen on moto blogging. He also incorporates a drone into uh, some of his adventure logs that he has with Yummy R6. And if you haven't checked out either one of those guys, I definitely recommend it. But back to the GoPro Hero Talk. As soon as I pass this bitch. Well, you're not, you're not a bitch. I just, I don't even know why I said that. But, um. But yeah, so. They're saying basically that the GoPro Hero 5, the only real difference is, is it's got a touch screen and it produces 4K. But, unfortunately, the 4K isn't really where it needs to be. And 
like it's just I mean it's there but I mean it, it's nothing that great I mean it's not like immaculate 4k or anything like that don't get me wrong 4k sounds intriguing unfortunately um, as Yami New said, who is also another moto blogger, Yami New, yeah, look into him. Uh, it's kind of another shout out video, but um, but he pretty much said that the 4K isn't where it needs to be, and he also said, and I agree with this statement, is 1080p is perfectly fine for what we use it for. Um, and I completely agree with that statement. And, uh, like, I am very happy with my GoPro Hero 3 Plus that's doing 1080 at, I believe, 60 frames per second. If it's not that much, then it's 40 frames per second. But, I mean, I'm... I'm not intrigued by the 4K whatsoever, and I'm not even intrigued by the touchscreen. I mean, touchscreen, I figure it'd be kind of convenient, but I just, I feel it's unnecessary. Um, yeah, I just, that's my opinion. I'm perfectly happy with the 1080p. It gives me a good quality, good picture on my videos and stuff. And so I'm not really worried about upgrading my camera. I mean, this one I bought off eBay. Um, it was a refurbished GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver. And I think after shipping and all that, it was only about $171 and some change. $170 to $175. Um, and, I mean, for a GoPro, that's pretty cheap, and that's because it was refurbished. And, I mean, honestly, if GoPro refurbishes it and then wants to resell it again on eBay, then I'm all for buying it. I've not had any problems from this GoPro whatsoever, except for, like, if I actually mess up. Like, I forget to put an SD card in, or I'm, it's not actually on video, <laughs> or something like that. Um, the only problems I've had are my own mistakes. So, it's been a really good camera, and I'm doing my best to take care of it. I make sure to keep it in its waterproof housing when I'm mounted up and everything, just to kind of give it a little bit more armor and durability, just in case I do go down, or something along those lines. But, as far as I'm aware, and I'm not the only person with this opinion, the GoPro Hero 5 it is overrated. Um, and I definitely won't be picking one up and it would be hard pressed for me to even get a Hero 4 unless I can find another one refurbished for about the same price as this one which probably won't happen so they release uh, a Hero 6 or something like that um, but you never know I do plan on getting a second camera I want to mount it right here so I'm facing me so I can have the two cameras and you know, can switch it back and forth so I can actually like look at you and talk to you and you can also kind of see some of my actual movements and goofing off that I do when I'm riding. And uh, I mean, I just, wow, there's a lot of people there. But you know, and even the camera that I get right here, I'm probably gonna end up just getting a uh, GoPro session. Um, they're small, I don't need it, the audio or anything like that because I can just use the audio that I'm getting from this camera and all that. So, it's definitely, I mean the Hero 3 Plus Silver works great. And I want to get a session so you can see me. And I would actually also like to get someone's help. Uh, on my YouTube channel uh, to be like a second cameraman whether you ride a motorcycle or you drive around you just want to help me um, get some of these shots from like the side or passing or stuff like that just kind of give a little bit more um, what, what should I call it give a little bit more um, 
into my videos. Yeah, a little bit more umph, you know, some umph. Kind of like my motorcycle, it's got a lot of umph, you know, you take, you hit that throttle and it's like, wow, you know, it got that umph to it, you know, that feel, you, you, you know it's got the power. But yeah, so, I mean, that's just what I'm planning on doing um, for the future. I have no idea when I'm going to be able to do this whatsoever, but hoo, 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 hoo. I am definitely whoa, working on that. Yeah. Stop by my favorite gas station, pick me up something to drink before I head over to my buddy's house for a little bit. Then I'm gonna go to Heber, do some cruising around, and uh, probably uh, practice some wheelies. Oh, fail, Devin, you totally failed to switch that gear. Like hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, la, la. But um, yeah. So I mean, that's I, I completely agree with the other moto bloggers about the Hero Five. It's just not where it needs to be for 4K, and I feel like the 4K and the touchscreen aren't really a necessity. And all that really does is just kind of up the price on things, which. I'm not a big fan of. I like to get my stuff cheap. It may not be great quality, but I can afford it, you know?